Thanks indeed, Mr. President. We are grateful for the convening of this meeting to allow this the highest multilateral instance to consider the issue bringing us together today because its regular consideration owing to its nature is of the utmost importance to the United Nations, to the region of Latin America and the Caribbean and absolutely to my country. Allow me to reiterate that Mexico champions a foreign policy based on the defense of multilateralism, international cooperation for development, friendship, the respect for all countries, peaceful settlement of disputes, and the self-determination of peoples. Against this backdrop, we reaffirm that, as part of relationships between sovereign nations. In that context, any unilateral measure, be it economic or financial, designed as a means of political pressure to effect changes from the outside to the decisions made by another state runs counter to the principles of the Charter of the United Nations and threatens international peace and stability. Mexico categorically condemns, as it has always done, the economic, commercial and financial blockade imposed for more than five decades now against Cuba. We also categorically condemn the decision to implement Title III of the Cuban Liberty and Democratic Solidarity Act. This is a title which conceals the true intentions of the Helms-Burton Act and which has affected not only the sovereignty of the Cuban people but also the national interests of third countries. Cuba will hammer home as many times as is necessary the fact that it is not possible to solve global problems or embark upon major transformations at a regional level without an international agreement underpinned by the principle of the unfettered self-determination of peoples. In the face of a pandemic such as that of COVID-19, we cannot postpone the lifting of the blockade against Cuba. Mexico is convinced that lifting this blockade will contribute to not only reversing the difficult economic situation that the Cuban people finds itself in, but rather it will also improve the, in the regional climate. And we urge the international community to demonstrate its solidarity and support for the improvement of the well-being, the economic growth and the sustainable development of all nations, with no exception. Mr. President, Mexico reiterates its appeal to the United Nations to continue with the defense of multilateral in institutions, the principles of the UN Charter, and to continue ensuring that international law prevails, not only as a matter of principle which we all support, but also because a more relevant and effective multilateralism will have benefits for all states and for all of our own national interests. Many thanks indeed.